It is back to school for students and for those heading off to college. The cost is usually top of mind. It can be prohibitive in some cases. Well, joining us now to talk about some options, Richard Hayes, Associate Vice Chancellor of Financial Aid and Scholarships at City Colleges of Chicago. Thanks for being with us, putting the focus on higher education. Absolutely. So let's let's look at it here. Fall semester starts at the end of next month, late September. Registration just started yesterday. Talk to me about the value of a city college education. Let's start right there. Well, if there was ever a time to go back to school, it is now. With all the different free programs that we have with city colleges, a lot of no-cost programs, and the increase in federal Pell Grant for students, this is one of the best times to go back to school right now. Why is it so good right now? Let's talk about Pell Grants, how those work, how you access that, and what you can do with them. So with the Pell Grant, the first thing is doing a, a FAFSA application. That's a free application for federal student aid. Um, that Pell Grant gives you pretty much thirty-four forty-eight per semester. Now, when you're looking at the cost of tuition at city colleges, if you go full-time, you look at no more than probably 2190. What is so, what does full time look like these full days? Full time is anything 12 credit hours or more. Okay. So I would say most students average out about 15 credit hours a semester. What do you hear from your students when it comes to the cost uh, of college these days? Wh where's my refund? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that's the first thing they ask them for because students they, they they have living expenses, they have cost of attendance expenses, transportation, books, and so they want to know what they have left over that they can use towards that particular cost. And so if you have a high tuition and you're not getting a lot of financial aid then mm -hmm. you got to look at you know different types of loans and with Biden doing the different uh, forgiveness programs for mm -hmm. loans we, we try our best not to steer students towards getting direct High loans. debt right now exactly we, the, you know the college debt forgiveness has been in the news cycle every day oh, yeah. uh, for the last couple of weeks here but you have something called fresh start uh, that was begun before the, the loan forgiveness Absolutely. program. Tell me how that works and how someone can access so it. So our Fresh Start programs, anyone that went to City Colleges that has a balance of $201 or more, they can come back, get their full balance uh, 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 recovered, I mean, get their full balance forgiven, and then they can also go and get their associate's degree. Okay, so do you have to, when you, you re-enroll, that's how it's going to work. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have to go for a full term? Do, do you need to have a certain GPA level? How does that? No, nope, you, you don't have to have a certain GPA level. You don't have to have a certain SAP. We have academic advisors and staff that help you with that once you come into um, the college, but you just have to come back and re-enroll under the Fresh Start program. And in addition to that, we also have the Future Ready program. And that's for anyone who hasn't been to CCC, over 60 different um, uh, basic certificate programs they can take at no cost. And this is at all seven city All colleges. seven city colleges. And I know you also have a couple of programs you want to highlight. Let's talk about uh, the early childhood development okay. for those who want to work in early education. Uh, we we know that you know teachers are in high demand nationwide. What are you doing to help them begin their careers? So we've already started a dispersing that um, we call it eCase um, scholarship to students right now. That's through the Illinois Student Assistance Commission with the state of Illinois. And so any early childhood educators that want to come back to school, they can use that scholarship in addition to their financial aid to get more financing for school. So the whole thing here is to get a degree or a credential without debt. We don't want them to have any debt. We want them to get a degree, get a good job, and, and, and keep it going. So back to that fresh start idea, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Um, so early childhood is one big focus, but another one is um, someone who's maybe interested in a career in criminal justice. Absolutely. So we got now we have what is called the one year and done program. So now you can finish up an entire um, associates of science degree in criminal justice in one year. That's the beauty. So now you, you don't have to wait a long time to get into the field. And also that we, uh, we assist them with laptops, with books, with taking their um, exams if they want to be a police officer or a state trooper or a forensic scientist. So we also assist with that as well. Did I read that that is just at Olive Harvey or is that That's is that just everywhere? at Olive Harvey. Okay. Yeah. With our schools, the way they're set up, some schools are have a center of excellence like Malcolm X is our healthcare hub. Olive Harvey is our um, criminal justice and transportation distribution hub. So, but this is the good part. You can still go to any school and take all the courses needed for that mm -hmm. that'll just be your home campus um, how uh, when you're hearing from your students um, how, how do you feel enrollment is going these days and and how do you think that uh, this sort of education prepares them for a career that will be a, a, a stable source of income for many years to come well, well the thing is is it's about the 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 cost of college Mo I even went to a community college when I first went mm -hmm. it's, it's a very low cost option and then we have um, our transfer um, advisors that can help them transfer 
transfer to a four year with a scholarship. Mm. So you got the STAR scholarship, you have our transfer uh, advisors that can help them get there. So what I'm hearing from students now is that they want to get in school and get out quick because they want to start mm -hmm. a career. Yeah. They, they don't want to take the long route with four years like we did. They want to take the short route, get into a career and then come back and finish up. Which is the best of these seven city colleges? All I would was just putting you <laughs> on the spot there. All right. Uh, how can people get more information? Well, they can reach out to ccc.edu for more information. You can reach out to me, um, Richard Hayes. Um, I'm more than happy to help, uh, but we're, we're all here to help students. So, Richard, great to meet mm -hmm. you, and good luck, and thanks so much for being with us tonight. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right.